On his inspection tours, Louis was accompanied by his entourage, including mistress Louise de la Vallière. But Louise now had a rival. Madame? Faut-il aussi que je vous laisse ma place? Il se pourrait, madame, que ma place soit bientôt la vôtre. Monsieur Levaux, sont-ce bien là des miroirs de Venise? Les miroirs de Venise n'ont pas d'égal en pureté, sire. Nous n'en voulons pas d'autres. D'autres miroirs déformeraient le reflet de ces dames qui nous accompagnent. After a while, he became quite bored with Louise, and she hung around at court, desperate to try and get his attention back. She never really did. So I, I think she probably suffered quite a lot. I think the king could pick and choose. Power is a great aphrodisiac and a crown even more so. So naturally, I think he picked very beautiful women. Louis liked to display his power. After winning a war against Spain, he celebrated with a huge party in the gardens of Versailles. It was also a chance for the king to show off the woman who had now replaced Louise as his favorite mistress. Her name was Madame de Montespan, and she was one of the most beautiful women in France. Madame, Madame, le roi s'inquiète de ne pas vous voir encore à ses côtés. Je ne saurais me présenter décoiffée devant sa majesté. Et puis un peu d'attente me fera encore plus désirer. Montespan is such an attractive figure, I think. She was a tremendous goer. She loved everything to do with pleasure. She loved jewels. She liked marvelous clothes. She liked food, flowers, gardening. And above all, she liked sex, you see. And he did too. Um, so he found the, absolutely the right maîtresse en titre for him. And she knew about having wonderful feasts and about having entertainments. So she was exactly the kind of person Louis envisaged as being suitable. At the same time, she was so beautiful that ambassadors thought she contributed to the legend of the Sun King. The Sun King's festivities were about more than pleasure. They had real political significance. Louis was slowly turning his new palace into the most important and the most fashionable seat of power in Europe. The king's former mistress, Louise, eventually gave up trying to win him back. After years of neglect, she decided to enter a convent, leaving behind the children she'd had with Louis. I don't think she felt guilt about leaving them behind because she knew that they were going to be very well treated. So I don't think she felt that kind of guilt because I think her big guilt, she wanted to expunge with penance and fasting and all that in the convent. And when she finally got away, I think she was much happier. Louis's mistress, Madame de Montespan, was already married, but that didn't stop her spending most of her time with the king. And he made sure she got the VIP treatment. She had a suite of 20 rooms, whereas the Queen had to make do with 11. Um, they were gorgeously appointed, and he spent a lot of time in them. They included um, a bathroom, most unusual for the time, in which apparently he and Madame de Montespan spent uh, many happy hours. Despite her elevated status, Montespan found it hard to share Louis, even with his own wife. J'ai cru que vous aviez eu un malaise. À l'ordinaire, vous ne restez pas aussi longtemps auprès de la reine. Ne vous inquiétez pas, madame, mon cœur va bien. La reine a des droits que nous ne saurions lui retirer. I don't think she was really jealous of the queen because after all she had everything of Louis's real love and she knew it. But I think she made scenes about the other mistresses when they came along as the years passed. And I think there are some men, possibly Louis among them, who rather like it if a woman is jealous and shows signs of caring. You know, she certainly complained like mad if she felt he was straying from what was, in fact, an illegitimate relationship. 
his mistresses perhaps were, were more influential on fashion. Madame de Montespan invented various outfits, including one, um, the glorious uh, déshabillé, which was a sort of a tunic worn over trousers. And she invented this because it was very easy to take off. Um, normally a lady's dress required two women to stand behind her to undo all the strings. And of course Louis was an impatient man. He couldn't be bothered waiting. So she invented this outfit so that he could undress her discreetly and easily in private. Louis's love affair with his palace lasted longer than any of his human relationships. After 14 years, nine pregnancies and seven children, Montespan was beginning to lose her looks and her hold on the king. Madame de Montespan began to fall out of favour because inevitably after nine pregnancies her figure wasn't quite what it was. She became rather blousy, uh, she drank too much, she gambled too much, she made a nuisance of herself with her tantrums and I think, as happens to a lot of women, the more she felt her man slipping away from her, the more needy and clingy she became and the more needy and clingy she became, the more she drove him away. Sire, vous n'avez plus un seul moment pour m'écouter alors que j'ai tant de choses à vous dire. Plus tard, madame. Un autre jour. But I think Louis was also undergoing quite a significant personal transformation. He was becoming much more religious. Madame de Montespan was a married woman. Um, committing adultery with an unmarried woman was one thing, but double adultery was sacrilege. It was a tremendous scandal. And he was becoming conscious of the fact that his way of life was, was really compromising the state and compromising his kingship. Louis turned to a very different woman, Madame de Maintenon, governess to his illegitimate children. Maintenon was pious, quiet, and intelligent, qualities that a middle-aged Louis had come to admire. Poor Madame de Maintenon had to do everything. She had to act as a, a cook, a plumber, a gardener, as well as a teacher and a nursemaid. It was exhausting. And she did this so well that Louis began to pay attention to her. He noticed this, this intelligent woman, this calm presence. Slowly, slowly, Madame de Maintenon began to seduce the king. Calmez-vous, madame. Me calmez! Rejected mistress, Montespan, was distraught. Allons, madame. On dit que la maintenant est plus dévouée à Dieu qu'à sa majesté. Notre roi va vite se lasser de ses prières. Il aime trop la chasse, la fête et la beauté. Croyez-moi. Vous êtes sûr Mais oui, madame. I think it was the rise of Maintenon in the first place which really riled her, because she found she'd made a mistake. She'd underestimated another woman. Maintenon was poor and a widow and innocuous and very pleasant and intelligent. And she didn't spot that Louis might actually fall in love with a woman like that, you know, and it might be a very seductive thing to him in quite a different way from her own seductive powers. And I think for a couple of years at least, she was extremely angry 